Hello, my name is Christopher and today we will be installing Hacks, which is a Home Assistant community store. Um, I'm going to install a fresh uh, Home Assistant, get it up and running, and then I will show you how to install Hacks on it. If you want to install Home Assistant on Proxmox, you can, and I have a video for that and I'll link it down in the description. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna start out on the Hacks uh, website and I'll link it down in the description um, where you go to this. So it's a Home Assistant community store. It makes it to where you can install third-party integrations, plugins, app daemon apps, Python scripts, themes, um, and you get it from GitHub repositories. And this is the UI that it has. And then I'm going to go up here to download. Here's the requirements of what you need to have. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to download over here. And um, if you're unsure what home system installation you have, you can click the My Info right here. But I'm going to uh, go with supervised and you go to the add-on store, you go to the SSH add-ons, it shows you. I'm going to show you step by step on how to do that. Okay, I'm going to copy this over here. Then I'm going to go over to a fresh install of Home Assistant. So if you want to uh, know how to install Home Assistant on Proxmox, I have a video for that and I'll link it down in the description. So, um, let's go to um, the settings right here. Once you're in fresh install, then we're going to go down to add-ons. And then you're gonna go down to add-on store right here on the bottom right. It's a blue icon, it's a blue button. Um, so, we're gonna go type up here SSH. Okay, this is from the community add-ons. Okay, now you're going to install it. Okay, you can turn on Watchdog and show in sidebar. So, right here. Okay, now you're going to configuration. We're going to need to put a random password in it right here. Then we're going to press save. Okay, this password is to uh, generate the SSH keys. So let's go down to start over here for start. Okay, it's booting up, you can see CPU usage. And let's go to the terminal right here. Okay, now you can see that we're now in the fresh install of the SSH. Okay, now we're going to Paste in the um, the wget that we got from the website on hacks. Okay, we're gonna press return or enter. Okay, that was fast. Okay, now it's creating the hacks directory. It's unpacking it, verifying versions, current version, minimum version, removing the hack zip file, and installation complete. And now it's telling us to restart Home Assistant. So we're going to do that now. So we're gonna go over to developer tools right here. Then we're gonna restart right here. We're gonna restart Home Assistant. Okay, now it's gonna say reconnecting down here in the bottom left. Shouldn't take too long with a fresh install of Home Assistant, so. Okay, it started back up. Let's go to settings. Then once you're in settings, you go to integrations right here, devices and services. Um, so you're going to go down here to the bottom right to add integration. You're gonna type up in the search bar, hacks. Then you're going to click this one. Okay, now you're gonna to want to read this and 
and it'll show you what it's about. Okay, before you set up hacks, you need to know the following. I know how to access the Home Assistant logs. I know there are no add-ons in hacks, and that means that hacks is not doesn't have any add-ons itself. It uses GitHub repositories to get the files, then it puts it into the custom directories that it creates, either custom components or if you're dealing with front end, uh, the www. So configs. Okay, now I'm gonna check mark that one. Check mark that one. I know that everything in Hacks is custom and untested by Home Assistant. That means that it's not in the core, it's not tested by the home system developers, and you need to make sure that everything you do in here and putting custom repositories in it, you make sure the code is good and there's no malicious intent or anything that could, uh, it doesn't have to be malicious intent. It can be something that's miscoded and then it'll hurt your home system installation. So always look at the code, see if it's working, see if there's any issues, on the repository, see how long it's been updated, different things like that will show you the status of the repository. Okay, I'm gonna check mark that one. I know that if I get issues with Home Assistant, I should disable all my custom components. That means that if you have any issues, any glitches, anything to do with Home Assistant that's not working correctly, you need to, uh, to disable all of the integrations or anything you add from hacks okay now we're going to submit button right here so we're back so once you uh log in to github with that code that it got you um you can see success and it created configuration for hacks we found the following devices and then you can press finish so once you do that you can go over to the sidebar right here then you can see integrations front end and add-ons and about so you can go in integrations and you can uh, see that there's integrations and front end lovelace and themes and then you can go over documentation github open issues for hacks uh, custom repositories this is to where if you have a repository that's not been, um, not, it's not in the explore and download repositories button down here in the bottom right, you can add it right here. Uh, in this first field, you just copy the GitHub or repositories to URL and paste it here. Then you can go down here to integrations, Lovelace or themes, depending on what type of repository on Git. Uh, GitHub you're doing, just market and integration, level A or lean. I'm going to go over here to the bottom right, explore and download. So you can see different custom repositories have already been added and indexed by hacks. So you can see forward pass. There's all different types of integrations. Always make sure that the integrations are good and you know that it's not it's a custom repository, so make sure it's good and the code's good and nothing's malicious in hand or it's gonna mess up your home system installation. If it does, just to disable it. Always make sure you do backups before you install anything to do on hacks. So you can just go in here and you can see a breakdown of the README. Open source developers are so nice and they put so much time into this stuff. So, uh, I thank them if you can. Okay. Now, uh, on the bottom right download button, you can see versions that you can select. You can also select beta versions up here. So there's no beta versions on this one, but I'll turn that off. Okay. Now you can see that we're going on the six to zero one. Then uh, it's going to show you where it's going to be installed at, config, custom components, UFI security. Remember that you need to install home, uh, you need to restart home assistant before this takes effect. So we're going to go down here to download button. 
And then all this doing is downloading it off GitHub. Then it's putting it in this directory right here. In the custom components. Okay, if you're back with me, so now let's go backwards. Um, let's go to hacks over here. It's saying pending restart. So we're going to uh, go to navigate. Then we're going to restart it. So once you have your home system back up, running. So after the restart, we're going to go to hacks. You're going to go to integrations right here. Then you can see that Eufy security has been installed and uh, it's in the custom components directory. So now you can go over here, you can go to integrations, you can go to add integration. So Eufy security right here. You can see that this is provided by custom integration right here and depends on the cloud. So once you do that, it'll start at the wizard. And then you put in your IP address and port. Okay. So that concludes installing hacks, get it up and running and making sure that, uh, that you know that this is custom repositories. So make sure that you know what the code is, what you're installing and that you, and you go and you go to developer tools and you restart once you install anything. So, um, that's about it. So that concludes the installing hacks on Home Assistant. And I started with fresh install and I showed you step by step on what it does and how to install it and get it running. And um, always make sure you do backups before you install anything on hacks. And always make sure what you know what you're installing. And on the cloud side of things, when you're uh, hooking a cloud account to one of these custom repositories, make sure that uh, you're not going to get locked out of your account because some uh, services have fail safe stored uh, or the repo, uh, the repository add on could have a glitch or something and call the API constantly. And then it would get you locked out of your account. So always make sure that you know what you're installing and you know what the code is doing. Um, not to scare you or anything, just make sure you know what you're installing. So, uh, so this series is about starting a smart home from scratch. And, and I've went over installing things. Now I'm getting to the, uh, to the setting up process, getting everything, uh, installed. And then, uh, and then I'll get to creating home automations and, uh, if you want to follow along with this series, subscribe, comment, like. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And uh, I'll see you next time.